Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn how we can add uh, our data, add con the contours of our coordinated data uh, of the area which have we of that particular area which we have only have uh, the coordinates x y values of different points, and we want to add the contours of that particular area. How we can add? Uh, first of all, we will uh, start to extract a DEM model. Uh, from the Google Earth, this is the first uh, this is the first uh, st uh, first step uh, to uh, extract our DEM model from the Google Earth. After extracting this, we will move to the further steps. Uh, in first step, uh, we will just open up the Google Earth, and after opening up the Google Earth, uh, we will uh, go here and add. Uh, we will just remove these all delete these all uh, uh, earlier files just delete them uh, to understand uh, for your better understanding and just delete all the files okay now <coughs> we will add our x5 point points and go to the file option and then uh, click on the import button after clicking on the import button go to the bo um, book one uh, you should remember that your uh, file should be saved in uh, CSV comma delimited format. Uh, your Excel. I want to uh, insert these coordinated points, and my this data is saved in CSV uh, comma uh, comma delimited format. Otherwise, your data will not be appeared here, and you will uh, find different problems. Okay, and click on the open open button, and can uh, make all the settings. I cl click on the next and uh, select here the points latitude uh, y axis and longitude according to x axis click on the next button and then finish uh, yes and then click on ok and select here your points ok after selecting your points click on press the ok button uh, now no, give them and a particular direction where you want to save this I want to save in this data format ok and I want to save this file in this format ok save and uh, automatically i will uh, my uh, google earth will uh, make me able to reach that particular place which of which i entered the coordinates just check in this and your coordinates is, coordinates will be appeared like this this is my coordinate uh, d point this is c point and now after getting these coordinates i want to extract this data to use in our map okay uh, just click on this Add path button, press this add path and uh, hold this and bring it to any other side. Okay, then sl start selecting your points. The selecting your area on which you want to add, uh, you want to extract to use in uh, DEM model. Okay, just extract these points, extract this area, and just go on so and extracting start extracting this area uh, you can extract as many points as you can has uh, uh, it's uh, it will you should have to cover all the points all the points entire points all the uh, elevated points in that particular area in that particular boundary for better results okay i am just here to uh, show you some practices uh, I will just uh, go through a few things, just few uh, few points. Uh, otherwise, if I have to uh, make an accurate map, I will select all the points, maximum points, as much as I can um, produce on this area. After doing so, uh, just select as maximum points as you can. Mm, this will helps for better results. Okay, I selected. I selected almost all the points <coughs> in this area. After doing so, uh, we should uh, we have to save our uh, our file. Name this file any any name this any uh, name this file any any name. You should uh, give them any name. I just want to give this name like uh, my elevation. Okay, just click on the OK button. 
<coughs> now after doing so i will and save place as okay after doing this i will change the this 2k mli format okay after doing so save this uh, your data will be saved when you have saved your data then go to the google and press on the go to this website gps visualizer um, you by clicking on this gps visualizer.com <coughs> just press on the upload a file click on this and go to your destination folder where you have saved your data i have saved somewhere here uh, my data saved uh, this is my data okay elevation click on this and convert and add elevation click on this button convert and add elevation okay and this is uh, working in the background uh, now click on this download button and but uh, my elevation data is being uh, start downloading when my data is being downloaded uh, after uh, downloading my data i have to uh, use this this data uh, in the uh, arc map uh, to draw the contours of that particular area uh, and the particular uh, the previous was our uh, first uh, step uh, to extract data to extract dem model from the google earth now we use that dem model in this uh, arc map uh, to draw the contours of that particular that coordinated area and uh, first uh, now we go to the arc toolbox and we move to conversion tools okay after conversion tools we move from gps from gps uh, click on gpx to feature okay clicking on this here we input our data the destination of our uh, data desktop uh, my data was in uh, stored in uh, in the downloaded format and download downloaded uh, folder I select i will select data from here and open and it's working in the background as it takes few seconds uh, to open up uh, to connect to the destination folder the here i will give it the output destination okay here uh, i again give him any name data e l e l e i will give this name and, and click on the same button okay press on okay button it will doing something in the background and my data will be appeared on this my screen as it takes few seconds uh, to open up and this data if it that's that my data is being appeared here this is my data of that particular area that this is uh, the uh, and points of different elevations i can check like this i can open up uh, the attribute table and this is the elevation of different points and the, the points which i have taken uh, from the google earth their elevation has been added uh, automatically uh, from the EEM model okay uh, then i can check from there uh, now we will uh, i will go to the arc toolbox and i will our tool but you can directly move to our toolbox or you can uh, write here i d i d w and press on enter i d w special analyst tool okay press on this button and here you can input your feature and this is my input feature uh, here you can give the any uh, value this is id that you can give this has elevation shape this is my output i will give this any output name i think i can give him out i can give him a data dem okay uh, save this um, your according to your own will you can give this any name press on okay button uh, it's working something is working in the background my elevation has been added up okay the last and uh, the second or uh, you can do any and many other things on this uh, data no in the next step i will add up the contours on that area okay no i will add the contours of that area no i will give to the special analyst tool i will move to the special analyst tool and i will uh, tools and i will go to the surface and after that i will go to the contours okay here i will have to input the features uh, i will uh, first i have dem data dem output 
uh, output my output data uh, contour DEM after doing so uh, press the save button and just give the man contour interval I will give of 10 meters you can give anyone any uh, of your according to your uh, desire according to your uh, map you can give any interval of the contours but here I will give the 10 meters contour okay after that I will press on the ok button my contours have been drawn on that of that particular area here from by clicking here I can change the contour direction contour thickness okay I can again change their thickness to uh, the basic level um, after that I can change I can label my contours I can just uh, label the my contour just go to the properties and go to the labels and here give and select your uh, controls which you want to label give them a name i won't just uh, uh, want to the size of that controls of uh, 12 bold it and i will uh, select on apply and okay um, and after that just press double tap on this and use uh, label features and my controls has been labeled okay uh, this was uh, the complete procedure from uh, getting data from getting our DEM model from Google Earth uh, to use in uh, to draw the contours of that area after drawing the contours I can add that and uh, the previous points uh, of which these contours are I can add these points by clicking on file and go to add data after going to add data I will go to the add XY data XY data I will connect to the folders where my data is being stored uh, book X CSV and add data okay after that select your coordinated system as I have already selected and uh, just make sure uh, select this coordinate system according to your location uh, click on the OK button and OK similarly my points will be uh, just my points are being uh, pointed on that contours ok these are my points and now if I will label these points I will change the color of these points this is these are my points so you can see this this and this now I will label my points and just double tap on this and uh, label features and my points are being labeled I can change the size of uh, the label uh, features uh, labels and I can change my size from 12 to 14 uh, pixels and press on the bold button and apply and this my points are being labeled T E A. Uh, after labeling my points and uh, now the la last step is to draw the boundary of these points okay uh, this is uh, the last step to draw the boundary of these points just click on the catalog box and uh, select your folder where you have stored your data and click double tap on this and click, go to the new button okay after going to new button and uh, just move on to new shapefile give any name of to this shapefile I, I have a new shapefile I will remain the same and select this polyline because our boundary is a line indicating our area okay just select this polyline and after selecting your uh, feature type you can edit the coordinate system I will use this 1984 UTM zone 43 north okay press on ok button just click ok uh, my shape file has been created after creating my shape file I from here I will start the editing after start editing I will select my shape file this is my shape file and press on the ok button ok just uh, when we are working uh, when you are working with this um, software just be patient it takes uh, for a few processes few seconds uh, so don't lose any hope just click on this button and uh, select your shape file this is my shape file and this was a line button ok I will just uncheck uh, these contours for my own ease uh, and this is I will just zoom zoom out this is my A point okay this is my shape file this is my line and I will select this 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 is my B point this is my C point this is my D point this is my E point this is my F point G H I J and then further A my boundary of that my particular area has been uh, created and now I can check in uh, the contours 
now you can uh, see in the different uh, just change the color of these contours uh, for physical for just an uh, easy view now you can see that uh, my area and the boundary of my area the contour and the boundary of my particular area has been uh, you can easily view this uh, after this you can use you can export uh, these uh, files uh, to use in and to use in uh, AutoCAD just go to the uh, Arc toolbox after going to all Arc toolbox just uncross these uncheck these uh, buttons and after going to uh, Arc toolbox just uh, go to the conversion tool after going to conversion tool uh, just select to CAD okay to CAD and export to CAD okay press on this and you can hear from here you can input your data fields and after inputting your data field you can press ok and uh, after inputting you can select the output location ok uh, output location and output version of your data in which uh, AutoCAD uh, file and which AutoCAD format you want to save your data ok after pressing this you can output file and name of or uh, you can uh, direction or uh, destination of your output uh, file output data after doing so you can press ok uh, your output data will be saved in uh, AutoCAD file now after that saving this data into that format you can uh, easily open this form, um, file in uh, any AutoCAD version you can uh, save this uh, uh, files according to the version of your AutoCAD as you have been using okay this is not difficult this is very easy very easy step and this basically is used in many areas in many uh, in many areas like uh, in underground and in on surface mining this this type of this procedure is being used to draw the contours of any particular area and after all after drawing their contours we will use we have to use these contours in AutoCAD so this is the easiest way uh, to draw the contours of any particular area so I hope you will understand from uh, the basics uh, to the uh, to drawing the contours of any area if you have any question please don't hesitate ask me uh, freely and uh, I hope you enjoy and you understand this lecture. Thank you so much for your time. If you want to, uh, and if you want to learn with me, uh, be patient and uh, start doing from the beginning to the end level by watching these uh, YouTube videos. You can understand uh, from very very first step to the advanced level. Okay, this software is uh, used in in many fields like in uh, uh, mining this is being used vastly in uh, in many other fields this software is being used okay uh, so don't uh, if you have once you have uh, hands on have once you have grip on this software you can uh, use it anywhere okay this was um, by me from for this lecture i hope you understand thank you so much for your time don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel uh, thank you so much